Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Oh wait, no. No, it's not Josh, it's Nikki. If you're wondering where Josh is, he's actually in the corner crying because you guys like me better than you like him. But nonetheless, he's still gonna be teaching us how to create a typography promo that's synced to music because he says he's in charge or whatever. Be sure to smash that like button, and if we get enough likes, I'll keep doing these videos, because let's be honest, we all know you guys like me. Markers, markers, markers. So Josh told me to tell you guys that we're starting this off with something to do with syncing music with markers. I don't really know. Listen to him and not me, because I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't let her fool you. I am in charge. But you guys like me better, right? So here we are in our tutorial composition, and the first thing you should do is bring in your audio. And what you'll do is hit L twice on your keyboard, and I'll bring up the waveform. And we want to work with markers so we can quickly edit out our entire sequence. It's much faster to have markers than not to have them. So what I'm going to do is listen to the song and find points for my sync markers. All right, so there's two distinct elements in the song. There's beats and claps. I want to put markers on the beats, so you can kind of see it here in the waveform. So we'll go up here to layer uh, markers, and we're going to grab a add marker. And make sure your layer is selected because we want to keep this on the layer. And we come here, you can tell that that's another beat right there. And we'll go ahead and add another marker to this. All right, so now I have my sync markers in here, and we're set up for success. Hi, it's me again. So Josh likes to break these tutorials up into different parts. And the second thing that we're going to be talking about is syncing your backgrounds and titles with the music. So now syncing is super easy to do. So we'll grab, say, a background. And you can just trim up the in point and trim out the out point as well. So now, beautiful. So it's already synced up. And we grab a title and just type out our text real quick. So now that I have the first setup here, I can move on to our next set of markers and bring in some more images and background and build out the sequence really fast. And so now with these markers, you should be able to sync everything really fast. And now we can start taking this next level and do some further syncing. So one thing you'll hear in your soundtrack is maybe other elements that are syncable. In my case, it's claps. So you'll hear a clap right here, right there. So what I can do instead of doing keyframe animation is grab our title layer and I can go up to edit split layer and I can ask my keyboard for scale and just scale this up. So now, so now it's synced up and that was great. But I want to talk about some other title techniques to help you out. So what we can do is come here to our word too. I'm going to show you something cool. So what we'll do is come here to effect uh, stylize and we'll grab CC repeat tile and I can expand the left right up and down and I think that's really cool and I'll duplicate this layer and I'll come here to the top layer I'll hit T my keyboard for opacity and lower the opacity of this layer and then I'll come here to the bottom one and delete the CC repeat tile effect and it's just gonna add a little bit more you know interesting looks to your quick beat and I can also do it over here so it's gonna help variate the text a little bit but of course we want to talk about some more syncing points so uh, you know, maybe with this one, we can have a flicker title. And what we'll do is come here to animate and we'll add a fill color, RGB, right, like that. And we'll come here to range selector. And we'll come here to the offset, all click the stopwatch, and we'll type in wiggle, open for C, 20, comma, 100. And now this will have a cool flicker to it. We can also take the word the here, and we'll just quickly duplicate it, and we can just, you know, bring it over, duplicate it again. And maybe I'll come here to the character window, and I'll swap the stroke and fill, or the fill and stroke. And we'll come here to the stroke width and you can increase that by a touch. So now that we have everything laid out here, I can maybe bring in the endpoints to match the specific claps of this song or other beats in your song. So this way, the syncing will be better. So that looks really awesome so far. Are you lacking professionalism in the office? I once was too. But then, I bought Motion Graphics Professional Pack. This is the 1400 plus motion graphics professional pack from us and wow, it has its own preview extension in After Effects. Pretty cool. You can add titles, motion graphics, effects, transitions, and even 600 promos. When you find the template you need, click the apply button and then change the colors and text and now you have a professional composition in After Effects. It doesn't matter if you're a professional or not, no one will be able to tell it's your first day. So help fight anti-professionalism and become a professional. Link is in the description below. So I told Josh his project needed some dimension and he ended up adding shapes. How cute. 
So yes, we have some really great work here, but it's kind of boring. We need to spruce this up. So we can do this with random objects that look great. So maybe I'll grab the text tool here and I'll just come here and type out the plus symbol. And what I'll do is just hit R my keyboard for rotation to set this to 45 degrees. And I'll set the blend mode to soft light. And then all I'm gonna do is bring in the in point and the out point. So this is only up here for like a few frames. And now what I can do is do, take this layer, duplicate it, and move it randomly around our composition like so. And when we have a few of these in here, I'll just offset them in our timeline just on this you know, specific part of our video. So it looks like this. So it's very subtle, but it helps brings more detail to our comp. And we can add things like this to each of our other compositions. So maybe I'll come here, grab the ellipse tool. And I'll just draw a small circle like this. And what I'll do is I'll use that same exact technique, to trim it up and duplicate around our comp. And if you do that for every slide, it'll look really awesome. Oh, I didn't see you there. The transitions technique stuck up on me. Yeah, that's pretty much how she is in real life. But yes, we gotta talk about transitions to tie all this together because you know it's just gonna add more detail and it looks great. So what I'm gonna do is go to a layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll come here to effect, stylize, and we're gonna grab motion tile. And we'll come between two cuts here. So we got two sections here. And what I'm gonna do is add a keyframe for tile center and I'll move forward to the next scene. And I'll just grab the X or Y and I can you know, just kind of slide this down and match it where it needs to be. I'll hit U on my keyboard and make those keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on my keyboard. And if we want, we can continue this on, but I'm not going to do it for every single slide because I want to add another transition, but I can come here to this one and this time around, maybe we'll do the X if we wanted to. But as another cool transition, what we can do is create another adjustment layer and we'll come here to effect channel and we'll grab invert. Okay. And we'll just trim up the end point of the adjustment layer just by a little bit and we'll come here and bring in the out point as well. This way it'll just invert between the cuts and it'll look really awesome. And I can duplicate or invert adjustment layer and just put it between these two cuts here. And now what we'll have with the sequence So that looks really good. We have all these cool techniques involved in here and you can use this in any way that you want. Add on other shapes, other types of transitions, and you can put together a really cool uh, promo that's synced to your song very quickly here in After Effects. That's all for today's tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe and always remember, the earth is flat. What are you doing? Uh, I'm filming a YouTube outro. Yeah, but you don't say the earth is flat in a YouTube video. Well, what am I supposed to say then? Just say what I always say, always be creative. I always get those mixed up. All right, let's say this together on three. One, two, three. Always the earth be is flat.